Gretchen Christine Rossi here, and we're at the Eco Lux Lounge for the Emmys weekend, and we're here on behalf of Cars Recovery Center. And I'm here with the beautiful Brooke. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. So Brooke, tell us how people can find you or how they know you, or I know you're an actress. Yeah, I'm an actress. Um, you'll know me from the show on TLC called Too Close to Home, um, where I actually do play a drug addict. It was a really challenging Role because I don't actually know anybody personally that has been affected by drug drug problems, um, but I know that just just embodying that and just with the script and all the problems and all of the things it affects, I I can empathize yeah. with what they what the families go through. Would you say that you are a um, method actor where you actually embody the character? Yeah, I'm definitely. If you if you have watched Too Close to Home, you'll know it's nothing like me. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's, I, I, people always ask me that, they're like, how can you relate to a drug addict if you've never done drugs? And I say, well, I can relate to a euphoric feeling. So right. the kind of right. feeling that you would get from drugs, that we can all relate to having a euphoric feeling and like wanting to feel that good. Right. Um, and I think that just the addiction that comes from that, it's, it's such a slippery slope. You start right. one little thing and then a little more and a little more and before you know it, is that what your character experienced on the show, or is it at a point where By the time we met, we meet my character, she's yeah. so far gone. She's so she has far track gone. marks all over her arms. She's yeah. just, I mean, she doesn't, every dime that she makes or steals, she uses on she drugs. Uses drugs. Yep. So if you were talking to your character in real life, what would be the advice that you would give her? To love yourself that you're worth it. So we were talking about self-love and how important that is in, in people's recovery and that's why Cars Recovery Center is so important because they do offer those type of programs and they have an incredible staff there that is really interested in the individual needs and what they're going through and really the innovative uh, therapies that they have and so what would you say, what advice would you give to the people out there that um, you know, maybe we're going through this and, and are looking for direction or a place to go. Definitely recommend coming there. Yeah. And um, I think just knowing that, it's just taking that first step, I think is just the hardest thing, you right. know? Just taking that first step to say, all right, I'm gonna get better. Like, you have to make the decision. You have to do it for you. you gotta pick yourself back up. You gotta go try again. Because eventually, you'll get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer to being able to be recovered. Right. Right. Well, you guys, take it from Brooke here. She has given some great advice um, about how to really take care of yourself going through some of these traumatic things that many of you out there might be going through. So again, remember there is help out there, places like Cars Recovery Center uh, that can really help you get through that first step that we're talking about, taking that first step. So again, Brooke, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for um, bringing attention to you know the epidemic that's happening. It's my in our pleasure. Country. I just hope everybody knows that they're worth it and there's help. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.